and seal the edges by crimping with a fork. Ah, crap. Ben! What's up, Chris? Come on in, man. I already did. So, uh, how you been? How you doing? How are you? Great, actually. I'm just learning how to make a calzonza. Or, as you Americans like to say, calzones. Do you want one? No, I find calzone fatty and unnecessary. So, you've hit a bit of a rough patch, and I care about you. So, I just want to make sure that you're doing okay. Chris, honestly, I'm great. I'm just exploring whatever fun activity pops into my brain. So we're ordering them a total of 30 pizzas, so let's talk topping. Sausage, onion, and peppers, scientifically proven to be the best toppings. Nice. Should we throw in some salads for a healthy option? Wow, don't be such a jerry, Ben. Yeah, Ben, these guys are cops, not ballerinas. So we are throwing a little shindig for the police department because we're asking them to volunteer as security during the Harvest Festival. I don't know what it is about big outdoor gatherings that makes everyone want to urinate all over everything, but it does. And they do. Okay, how about some calzones? Calzones are like pizzas, but they're harder to eat. They're dumb, and so was that idea. Seriously? This is embarrassing for you. Chief Trumple? Hey, nope. You know Ben Wyatt from the State Budget Office. Yeah, how's it going? Hello. Thanks for the party. Good pizza. Great. So yeah, pizza's dynamite, isn't it? You said it was good pizza. Good. Pizza's good. You, uh... You know what I like? Calzones. What the hell's wrong with this guy? Sorry, uh, we'll check in with you later. Take it easy. Mm, we'll do. What is wrong with you? He's getting somewhere with Yeah, great small talk over there, okay? Let me handle this. I'm in cops. control. What a gorgeous herbaceous medley. There's been a mistake. You've accidentally given me the food that my food eats. Salad is traditionally the first course at a wedding. Is a gerbil marrying a rabbit? I'm in charge of food for the wedding, so I brought in Pawnee's three best caterers and a panel of experts. Chris loves vegetables, Ron loves meat, and Tom considers himself a foodie, which apparently means taking Instagrams of food instead of eating it. Okay, so. I liked number one, Chris liked number two, and Ron liked number three. Tom, what about you? Cater number one's presentation was simple, yet exhausting. Number two's was subtle and provocative, like a coy Dutch woman guarding a dark secret. Nothing you're saying is helpful. But number three's told a story. A story from a book I wouldn't read, but I would watch the movie of. <sighs> That's nonsense. You know what? I'm gonna go with the first place. I really love that appetizer. Oh, the mini calzone? I wouldn't call it that. It was more like a savory pastry. Delicate little dough pocket filled with tomato sauce, cheese, and seasoned meat. Just a stunning culinary innovation. It was a calzone. It was literally just a small calzone. So Ben, why calzone? Glad you asked, Chris. You know, there's fast food hamburgers, there's fast food Mexican, there's fast food Chinese, blah, blah, blah. Have you ever wondered why there isn't a fast food option for Italian food? What about pizza? Pizza? Never heard of it. That's what people will be saying in 20 years because pizza is old news, Chris. Pizza is your grandfather's calzone. I never thought of it that way. What I'm talking about is a portable, delicious meal that is its own container. It's a whole new spin on Italian fast casual dining. Amazing. Now, you of all people like this. I'm gonna use low-fat ingredients. Game changer. And I will call my new Italian fast casual eatery the Local Calzone Zone. That idea is literally the greatest idea I have ever heard in my life. That idea is terrible. Excuse me, Chief. Sorry to interrupt. Hey, Calzone boy, what's up? <laughs> well, here's hoping that that nickname doesn't stick, right? But that's not why I'm here. Chris, I'm dying. I was dying earlier today, and then I died. Now I'm dead. I had to cancel a date with Shauna Mulway to weep, and I really like her. Do you think she'll still like me now that I'm dead? What is this? It's food poisoning. I have it too. I did not sleep for one second last night. And I cracked the bottom of the toilet bowl. Oh, God, don't say that. Has anybody talked to Tom? I can't even imagine what that tiny little man must be feeling like. I have voided more than Tom's body weight in the last 12 hours alone. 
He might have just disappeared off the earth. We need to call him. We must reach out to him. I can't do it. Ben. Extension 7820. <sighs> Whoa! It smells like some vomit took a dump in here. What happened? We got food poisoning, Tom. Ooh. How do you not have food poisoning? Because he didn't eat anything. He just took pictures and talked about the wow factor. Not true. I ate everything you did. Are you sure? Is there anything that you didn't eat? Oh, yeah. I didn't eat those stupid mini calzones. Have a food rule number six. <sighs> Never eat anything with the sauce I have to dip myself. Drizzle it on for me. I'm not your maid. The calzones betrayed me? Never again, guys. As God is my witness, they're dead to me. All right, well, Tommy feels great, and I'm about to go eat some lasagna. Peace! <clears throat> Hey, sorry about the whole mess. Like, crisis has been averted, so let's go talk to the chief. Oh, I already talked to him. They'll give us the hours we need, no problem. Great, what a relief. Yeah. Hey, are you hungry? I haven't eaten. You know, yeah, there's a really great Cal's own place over in Idiotville. Oh, really? Down on Terrible Idea Avenue. Okay, that's weird, because I thought it was on Beating a Dead Horse Boulevard. Cal's owns are pointless. They're just pizza that's harder to eat. No one likes them. Good day, sir. Leslie, I, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm just hey. kidding, let's go. Oh, <laughs> okay, that was funny. The IOW does not mess around, which normally is why I love them, but now I'm on the other side. Oh my God, Ben, I gave them $100 in their annual pledge. Do you know how many anti-me signs that could buy? You just don't do the pie contest, obviously. Then, then we're just back where we started. Then it just seems like I'm saying I'm better than the women who bake. What should we do? Should we get a divorce? Well, how about this? What if I register for the contest? I bake the pie. I act as my own wife. Oh, that could work. We sidestep the controversy, we refocus the campaign onto the actual candidate, and then we flip the antiquated tradition right on its head. Exactly. More importantly, we change the idea of what a pie is. I feel like that's not more important, but I, I like the energy that we have, so let's hear it. Okay, picture this. Crust on the bottom, filling, crust on top. What am I describing? A pie. No, but you're in the right Zone? Oh. Calzone! Sure! Pies are just sweet calzones, honey, and I I'm good at making calzones. You're amazing. I can win this thing. Of course you can, baby! Get in there and start baking! Talking about the highway to the calzone zone. Hey, did you hear back from Elise? Oh, yeah, we're good. The IOW is not gonna protest us. How's your pie? I don't know. I didn't make a pie. <laughs> Okay, how is your dessert calzone? It's ready. Question is, are they? All right, our next contestant is candidate Ben Wyatt's wife, Leslie. Let's see what Mrs. Wyatt has baked up for us, shall we? It's actually Ms. Nope, and actually right now, it's Mr. Wyatt. Leslie has her own busy life, and I happen to be an excellent pie maker, so we figured we'd switch it up a bit. Now, pack your suitcases, because we're going to a little town Called a Napoli in Free Italy. Free Ben Wyatt! Free Ben Wyatt! Excuse Free me, ben free me Wyatt. from what? From the tyranny of women. Coffee in the morning. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. We decided to throw you a pizza party to say congrats for cracking the case. Oh my God, you guys! Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Wait a second, that's not pizza. Those are calzones! <laughs> I love calzones! We know! I think it's safe to say I made the right choice. What's up, guys? Yeah!